Hi there, um, welcome. My name is Gina Strauss and I am the Feminine Leadership Advisor for Yellow Arrow Publishing. Um, this is the first of hopefully many videos that I will come in with um, on seasonal basis um, to give you an update on what's going on in the seasons and how we can reflect that both in our own lives and in the Yellow Arrow um, House and Yellow Arrow Publishing organization. So um, I hope that you have had some time this week or in, in past weeks to get your feet on the ground a little bit with everything that's been going on. Um, so today I want to start with a short reading and talk to you a little bit and then do a brief meditation. So I want to start with wise words from our leader, um, Gwen. There is the Yellow Arrow Journal, the Resilience um, Edition, which we just had a celebration of um, a month or so ago. And in her um, opening in the beginning, she has some wide wor wise words, which um, I'm sure in writing it, she wasn't thinking of what's going on worldwide, but it's beautiful. So she says, often in my walks around Baltimore, I notice places no longer in use. Old schools, abandoned homes, and glass storefronts that must have been a candy store or newspaper stand. What draws my attention to these empty spaces are the vines and flowers, and sometimes even trees that have sprung up all around and inside. What a marvel nature is, in its persistence, despite the brick and mortar that blocks its path. Nature seems to find a way, always and rather quickly, to regenerate in the bleakest of places, even a parking lot left alone for a long enough time will eventually grow back into the forest or meadow it once was. This, my friends, is what resilience is to me, a quiet persistence to keep growing, to plant seeds, no matter the barrier. It is a will to continue on beyond our own understanding of what the results will be, because maybe one day our slow, and steady resistance will overtake that which once covered us. We believe in this. I, that's beautiful. And it is exactly what speaks to us today. And I have some notes here, so I'm going to be reading a little bit and talking too. You know, we are in a new time. Things are being shaken up to the point that we can no longer hold on to the same way of being that we've been used to. It can be a painful process, we know, and one that can hold a lot of fear, and all of us know this now. And at the same time, this shift is allowing for an emergence of an energy that has been suppressed in much of the world for a very long time. This yin, feminine energy, which is within all the natural world, including all of us humans, is rising up to balance us and lead us into a new way of being that is more sustainable for our humanity and for our earth. Even more powerful is the fact that in much of the world, this shakeup is happening as the spring equinox arrives. Spring is the natural time for birth and growth and creativity. We see it as we look out our windows. Daffodils are blooming, birds are making their nest, trees are beginning to sprout blossoms. I see it in us humans too. In response to the world events, we are blossoming in our creativity of how to work from home, how to design ways to still interact with our clients, our students, our patients and customers, and most importantly, elevating our desire to connect with our loved ones and help support each other. This shakeup is also calling us to look inward towards ourselves, within ourselves, for thoughts and behaviors that are no longer serving us. Some of us may be feeling physical or emotional symptoms that are new or old or uncomfortable. Please know that if this is happening to you, you are not alone. This is your body's way of alerting you to something new that needs to be let go of. And it's important that if you're feeling this, to connect with some source of support, and there are many out there, 
during this time. So in this time of great change, there's also great opportunity to vision something new. I want to take a few minutes to guide you through a visioning meditation. We will start with ourselves, within ourselves, and then move to envisioning what we would like to see evolve with Yellow Arrow. So find a comfortable, get in a comfortable seat and start by closing your eyes. Connect to your breath. Breathing in for four counts. Holding for four counts. And breathing out for four counts. Let's do that again. In four counts. Hold. Out. In your mind's eye, I want you to see yourself in a place that is comfortable for you. Maybe is it, a spe it is a special place in nature that you like to go to. Maybe it is a certain room in your house. Anywhere that you feel comfortable and relaxed. Be there now. As you are in your comfortable place, I want you in your mind's eye to start to move forward in time. See yourself move through this springtime period in good health and vitality. See yourself moving through the summer enjoying the sunshine and the warmth on your body. See yourself moving through the autumn as the air gets cooler, the crisp of breezes, seeing the leaves fall. And then see yourself going through next winter. Maybe you're by a fireplace snuggling up. Maybe you are taking a walk in the snow. And now you are here a year later. All that is, was happening last year is gone. What does your life look like now? What new things have come into your life? How do you look? How do you feel? What things have you let go of because they no longer serve you? And now that you are feeling the changes and the new energy for next year in your own self, I want you to connect with the Yellow Arrow House, Yellow Arrow Publishing, and you can connect by looking on their website in your mind's eye, by going to their Facebook page in your mind's eye, or by taking a walk down to the Yellow Arrow House and opening the door and walking in. No matter what you choose, what do you see? What does the house look like? Facebook page, website. What programs and activities are being offered?
Who do you see there? How do you feel when you connect to Yellow Arrow? What do you receive by being associated with Yellow Arrow? And what do you give by being associated with Yellow Arrow? When you're ready, you can either pause this or you can continue with us. Start to walk back to your comfortable place. Start to notice your breath in for four counts. Out for four counts. Feel yourself back in your body and back in your room. Open your eyes. After this video, please take a few minutes to write down some notes, whether it be in a personal journal, a comment below, or an email to Gwen or one of the other board members. I want to end with a recent message from the Council of 18, um, excuse me, 13 Indigenous Grandmothers. And you can hear more from them at their website, Grandmothers Council, C O uncil.org. But about 10 or more years ago, I took a class and um, I read this book here. And it literally connected with me and changed my life. And so I've been following them ever since. But here is their message for us now. As you move through these changing times, be easy on yourself and on easy on one another. You are at the beginning of something new. You are learning a new way of being. You will find that you are working less in the yang modes that you are used to. You will stop working so hard at getting from point A to point B, the way you have in the past. But instead, will spend more time experiencing yourself in the whole and your place in it. Instead of traveling to a goal out there, you will voyage deeper into yourself. Your mother's grandmother knew how to do this. Your ancestors from long ago knew how to do this. They knew the power of the feminine principle. And because you carry their DNA in, their, in your body, this wisdom and this way of being is within you. Call on it. Call it up. Invite your ancestors in. As the yang-based habits and the decaying institutions on our planet continue to crumble, look up. A breeze is stirring. Feel the sun on your wings. Thank you for listening. And I look forward to speaking with you from the warm sunshine in the summer. Take good care.